Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing so well. I'm so glad to be sitting down in front of this camera and filming again. It kind of seems odd because I haven't been doing it all that recently, but I'm overly excited for today's video. So the sun is shining, it has been overcast here a lot lately, and so just to have some sunshine has put me in a great mood. As I've been unpacking all of my things for the new house, I realized that I have so much thrifted home decor and honestly, I'm trying to decide what I should keep, what I should donate again, and what I should resell. I did start an Etsy shop and I added some items on there. And the items I had on there did really well. They sold pretty quickly, so I might end up adding some more items over on my Etsy shop but I'm not sure about that yet. But anyway, let's just go ahead and jump into today's video. All right, to start this video off, I wanted to share with you a few picture frames I have picked up recently. I do not believe I have shared these on here yet. The first of which being this gold vintage frame. Now, obviously I will be replacing this lovely artwork, but I thought the gold detail on this frame was really beautiful and I love just throwing pops of gold in my decor style. This was $3 from Goodwill. I'm thinking this will either go in our guest bathroom as I have a lot of pops of gold in there or possibly saving it for the nursery. And I will show you in just a second what I'm thinking about putting in it, but um, hold that thought. And then this next piece of art was actually left here from the previous owners when we bought the house. And it's very different. The thing I like about it and why I've held on to it is this frame, it, it actually feels like leather. And so I thought it would be so cool if I don't end up keeping this art here to put something else here and repurpose this frame. But I really love the leather look of this frame and I think that there is a way that you can repurpose it. That is my plan for now. This was free, included with the house, although the house is not free, so we'll just say included with the house. All right, and going along with those frames, before I show you all of my really fun boho goodness, um, I did want to do a shout out to my friend Rebecca with Rebecca Ely Studios. She is a local artist. She does a wonderful job, and she reached out asking if she could send me something for the nursery, and I just got it in the mail, so I haven't even opened it yet. But how cute is this packaging? I've known Rebecca for a while. She is so creative, so I cannot wait to open this up in front of you guys and share it with you. We're gonna be seeing it together for the first time. Sometimes I hate like breaking pretty packaging. Oh my goodness, look at how cute this is. Now this is a little sloth. It is so adorable and it says chillin'. Rebecca does a, such a great job. Like I said, I have known her for a while. She is such a creative artist and she does custom artwork as well. So I wanted to encourage you guys, if you are looking for a gift to give this holiday season, check out her website. She does a fantastic job. The packaging is beautiful, super easy to work with. I will link her website below. But look at this, this little sloth. Isn't it just the cutest thing? This is gonna look so adorable in the nursery and I might even try framing this in that gold frame I just showed you. Thank you, Rebecca, I love it so much. All right, moving on to home decor. As I was going through these crates of things, trying to figure out what I wanted to keep and what I wanted to get rid of, I was just thinking I have found so much stuff at the thrift store. The first thing, I had this little bag packed up, but I remember thrifting this for a few dollars, and this was actually hanging in the girls' room at the old house. I actually like hanging bags like this on the wall for home decor. I do that along with like my fedoras. I grab the bag and take it out. It's just hanging right there. So anyway, uh, yeah, this was a few dollars. I will plan on keeping this. I don't know where exactly I will put it, but I'm sure I can find a home for it. And then baskets, baskets galore. I have so many baskets. As you guys can see here, this was like one of my favorite larger baskets I had thrifted and I actually need to hang it up higher on the wall because it's not gonna stay there. But this basket set here, do you guys remember when I thrifted this? It is so pretty. I had never found a basket set where they are all the same and they fit into each other. But I think this makes a really fun design just like setting on a table like this. I like the shape of all the baskets together. This would also be a beautiful basket wall. And as you guys know, I have basket wall scattered throughout my house or I should say I did. If you guys have not seen my last home tour, that house was finished and I will link that for you in the description below. But this house, I still plan on hanging up baskets. I haven't done so a lot yet. This is one of my all time favorite basket sets. 
And then these baskets here, I actually didn't realize I had thrifted two of the same baskets because I had to have thrifted these two separate times because I don't remember buying them at the same time. But I do remember using one of these baskets as um, like a fruit basket in the kitchen. Another thing I like to do is like if you have tables for the bottom shelf, I put a basket in there. I've also seen in like a bathroom to put like some hand towels in one of these. And these were both super inexpensive. I have a thrift store here locally that I love and all the baskets are 50 cents. So I have gotten so many baskets for incredible deals. All right, something else I really love thrifting and I have found a lot of over the years are just little vases and pottery pieces. Um, this one right here I think is so cute and it was actually from the Pigeon Forge Pottery Company and I just, I love the simplicity of this one. And then this one right here, it's not necessarily pottery, it's actually wood that was carved out, but how beautiful is that? This is another one that I found when I was unpacking, but it's actually a wicker face and I don't ever recall seeing one of these outside of the time that I bought it, like this size and everything. I like to put something natural in these. I had bought this thing here from Hobby Lobby and it just makes like such a fun boho accent. I think this little guy was like 50 cents or something. It was super, super inexpensive, but just putting something like this on a dresser is kind of like my go-to decor aesthetic. All right, and then as I was unpacking, I found these two vases here. I remember specifically going to the thrift store and picking up one of these and I was looking at it and the worker was like, I actually just saw another matching one in the back. Would you like it? And of course I said yes. They were like $2 each or something like that, but I just love the simplicity of them. Again, just adding like a natural stem in there is super, super pretty, super boho. And let's talk about wicker. You guys know I love wicker and I have had pretty good luck. Um, at first when I saw these little peacock chairs, I never purchased them because I was like, what would you use that for? But this makes an awesome plant stand. So if you guys have any creative ideas on what you use these for other than a plant stand, I know originally like people would put dolls on them, but that's just not my <laughs> decor aesthetic. If you are just wanting to bring a touch of wicker into your room, I feel like at least around here, I usually have pretty good luck thrifting these. All right, editing Katie here. I actually decided it would be too much to show you guys every little piece of what I have in these crates. So let me just show you an overview of what I'm talking about. And if you guys want me to do one of these videos where I show you more of these pieces, let me know. I just thought that it would take forever to do it in this video. So that's why I kind of stopped with just showing you a few things. But if you want to see that video, let me know. So those are some of my smaller home decor accents that I've just been unpacking and I thought I would reshare with you guys, but I did wanna walk around and show you how I've been styling a few of the pieces I've already put up and then ask for your opinion on a few things because I have some really fun boho pieces around the house, but I just am not sure on how to style it because so many of you guys love boho home decor. I thought I would just take you around, walk around the house and ask for your opinion on a few things. All right, so in our guest bathroom, it was feeling really white and stark and I was looking for a way to bring in some liveliness. So I just decided why not hang up one of my thrifted wicker baskets, put some greenery in there and surprisingly it works really well. But yeah, sometimes you just gotta be creative and use things in ways that you might not typically use them in and then over here on this shelf this large natural candle was thrifted I love this piece so much it's super heavy but I've used it in multiple places throughout our house and then I also thrifted this brass candlestick for under a dollar these are the items I'm going to ask your opinion on because I value your opinion and I need some feedback. So the first of which being this plant stand here. I actually think it's an umbrella stand, but we do not need it for umbrellas. I do not like the greenery that I currently have in it. And I'm just looking for suggestions on what would you guys do with this? I think it's a really pretty wicker piece, but I'm just kind of in need of some inspiration on how I should actually style it. So if you have any great ideas, let me know in the comments below. And then also the same for these peacock chairs here. I believe I paid like $10 for the pair of these chairs like two years ago. And I have just kind of had them setting as accent chairs in our house, but we never ever use them. They just collect us. So let me know, what would you guys do with these chairs? Would you keep them just for the pretty aesthetic of them? I like having things that are practical in these chairs, although I like them. They're just a little bit on the smaller side. 
I do see how they could be really pretty in like a photo shoot of some sort, but I'm just trying to decide how I should use them in a practical sense. So if you guys have any suggestions on that, drop me a comment. And I also wanted to show you guys this macrame hanger that I actually found in the trash when we moved into our house. The previous owners have thrown it away and I thought it was kind of cool. So I went ahead and I just used one of my thrifted baskets, put some greenery in there and hung it up. I don't know how practical this spot is for a macrame hanger, but it works for now. And our ceilings are so tall, it actually somewhat works in this room. Anyway, I just wanted to show this to you. It was essentially free. I found it in the trash can. <laughs> All right, I know that video was a little bit random but I still hope you enjoyed it and honestly I wanted to do this because I am planning on doing several thrift trips here coming up but I wanted to know what I should look for and what I already have enough of sometimes I fall into this trap of just going thrifting and having to buy everything because I love it just to realize I already had something very similar at home and so I don't want all of this stuff just setting in crates while I continue to get more and more stuff I want to have like a plan of action for what I want to do with the things I already own before going out and accumulating maybe that's my encouragement to you as well maybe you have a lot of stuff packed up that you've forgotten about. Sometimes it's fun to change up a space just by using things that you already own and I actually have a few thrift videos on here of just thrifting my house where I do exactly that. So if you are interested in those videos, I will link them for you in the description below. But thank you for watching. It's so fun to connect with people who have similar styles as I do and I look forward to seeing you in all of my upcoming videos. I will see you then. Bye!